This is Lord Thaddeus Cray, and today I'm going to be doing a new movie review. <clears throat> this one is called The Devil Below. It's not connected to the Devil's Gate by any means, it's just the similarity in the names, that's it. This movie is definitely a cryptid movie. It actually involves many, many cryptids, but they're not different types, like uh, the earlier movie I reviewed, Dawn of the Beast. This has nothing to do with that at all. This is actually all of the same type of cryptid. And they're cryptids that are very unique. I don't even know if you would call them anything of legend. Maybe if you guys know more about it than me, I could... I'd love to <laughs> have some feedback, to be honest with you on that. But these creatures are... They're almost... They're weird. What I mean by that is they're terrifying. These cryptids live underground. They're subterranean creatures that they love heat they love heat that is one thing you have to understand these creatures love hot temperatures and you also need to remember on one thing many people don't know this and you can't quote me on the exact location because i don't remember myself but i do know there are many areas a couple of them throughout the states i do believe Kentucky might be one, because there's a lot of coal mining, even now, that goes on in Kentucky. There might be a few hot spots out there where there was something set the coal in those mines on fire. And, of course, the mines had to be evacuated and shut down, or else everyone inside would have been killed, and I believe several people were. <clears throat> it's an, I mean, literally, the ground is still, to this day, burning. It's on fire. Such property is usually sealed off and kept away from prying eyes. People might be able to pay to get in there and take a look, take photos and stuff like that, but it's not safe. And these fires, these coal fires, whatever the hell they are, the ground is literally, it's, it's on fire. I mean, it's literally glowing. The ground is glowing due to the heat. That is what seems to be a very interesting phenomenon to me. And that's what this movie does cover. Okay, just point blank. <clears throat> so anyway, I'll get to the point of this. The movie itself involves, it starts off with a young woman. I'm not going to pretty much put too much in the way of spoilers on this, because like I said, it is a good enough movie to where I think you should definitely get a chance to watch it. But the movie starts off with a woman, she's being paid to investigate a town, a mining town, that quite literally is sealed off from the rest of society. And a, there was this type of incident where a lot of people died. It was quite literally, the mine was completely, I don't know if it was, it wasn't obliterated, it was just sealed off due to a horrific accident which a lot of people were killed. But it's not what you would think. That is the twist on this. These cryptids, these creatures, monsters, they're very interesting. I will give us certain things away. They have a hive mind, like ants, or wasps, bees, that kind of thing. Termites. Actually, termites might be something to think about on that. But anyway, these things... Uh, let's leave it at this. The poor bastards that get uh, captured by these things, it's a fate... Oh, it's a death, all right. In some way, a fate worse than death. I'm just going to leave it at that. These things are not, and even in really what I would call inherently evil, they are just trying to feed the progenitor of their hive mind. Leave it at that. So the premise is, you have, some, you have this woman who's a guide. <clears throat> she, is being, she has been hired to pretty much lead, be part of an expedition and to help these people a bunch of uh, guys who are pretty much like involved in different types of paranormal studies and things like that. These guys want to get in, almost whatever the cost, to take a look and see what caused this town to be w literally wiped off the map. And what made all the people in there vanish. Other than the so-called little, you know, mining explosion or whatever it was. Uh, the main guy in charge of the expeditions, he suspects more, and he's willing to do what he needs to do to find information and get his studies funded, no matter what the cost. Well, he loses a lot, leave it at that. <laughs> a little more than he bargained for. A lot of innocent people are killed. 
in this situation. But once you really realize what these monsters are, you kind of understand the reasoning of why this town was sealed off from the outside world. It's a very interesting retrospect on the study of greed, as well as the effects that things have on people. <clears throat> Don't get too big at it, folks. It can cost you. That's one of definitely what I would call, if there's a moral to this movie, is that. The creatures are fairly well done. Believe me, they're not talking about Oscar-winning effects. But in some ways, it's a little bit better done than uh, <laughs> Dawn of the Beast. Leave it at that. Not quite as good as Devil's Gate, but it's not a bad movie. Like I said, The Devil Below is a good way to definitely waste a couple of hours of your time. An hour and a half, actually. And if you want to understand really what the premise is, you have to watch it from beginning to end. There ain't much skipping on this. You can't afford to do that with this. I had to sit down and watch it from beginning to end. It is nowhere near as psychologically engaging as The Devil's Gate, but it is a good movie. <clears throat> the acting is pretty solid. Like I said, the creature effects, they're not Golden Globe material, but they're pretty decent, actually. You don't have no CGI in this. You have... People, you know, it's basically what you call practical effects. And believe me, it's... Let's look at this. If I saw one of these things coming at me in a dark alley, I would be like shitting my pants and being ready to meet the Lord. <laughs> Leave it at that if I couldn't run. And believe me, I'd be trying to get my fat ass moving around. <laughs> but anyway, what I'm trying to say is this. If you get a chance, watch this movie. It's nothing <clears throat> spectacular, but it's actually still pretty awesome. It's a pretty new release gem, and believe me, I think if you get a chance, it'll, you might want to add it to your movie collection. I definitely have it in mine. You guys be blessed, and I definitely hope uh, things will work well for all of you. Be safe out there. Bye-bye.